we have been going back and forth on this issue. Look, as for me, I am ready to solidify and concretize this relationship. And I know you have the same, you know, feeling too. So why, why do we have to wait too long? Let me ask you, do you know how much I'm worth? <laughs> I guess, I guess so. We're talking about billions. Billions just sitting there. <laughs> My dad. <laughs> what about him? Nah. Let me tell you. If my father dies now, let's see, he dies now. <laughs> I, let's see, we will be sitting on a heap of fortune. Can you undo that? You know, only that I, I cannot kill him, you know? But that's fortune we're talking about. So let's do something about it, babe. I'm loving this. I'll call you back. Peter! Dad! What are you doing in this company? Dad? Are you crazy? How can you explain this? A separate withdrawal? Separate withdrawal for what? Dad! Shut up! Gave you an education, but you chose to destroy this company. Do you want to destroy my legacy? Dad, judging by the way you are talking, <laughs> you might have an heart attack. And if you die, Peter, no, I'm not going to have a heart attack and die. Not on a prodigal son like you. Dad, me? Yes. Prodigal son? Yes. So, I'm now the problem child now, right? Yes. I set my feet. How could you possibly spend $98,000 in two months? But you did not even ask me what I used it for. You just stomped into my office and now you are calling me names. You even called me a prodigal son. You called me a, a problem child. Peter, I love you. That was before you adopted two kids to, to, to take my place. Well, you choose not to listen, you will find out the hard way. Hey, the directors are sitting on it, 12 sharp. Make sure you don't fail. What ghost name do you want from me? Why do you like seeing me fail? You know what? Hey, shut up your mouth. Shut that mouth of yours. Do you know what it takes for me to accept you as a partial bricks? And you come here and I sit you and do what I'm going to be here. Look, let me tell you. I do not need to impress anyone. I am the original bricks, and I call the shot here. I forgive what you just said. God knows I've been trying to make peace with you on all the offense I did not commit. But you know, God will not disappoint me. I don't care about your opinion. I don't care. Thank you. Hey, not so fast, Dom. Dummy, you are the only one I see on earth that comes from nowhere and suddenly you want to be the good child of my father's house. Let me tell you. I don't need to impress my dad. I don't need to impress anybody. I have the bricks gene inside me. So get that into your score. Yes, sir, thank you. I appreciate everyone for taking our time to listen to my presentation. Thank you very much. I must say that is very impressive and very commendable. You know what? You are the kind of son every parent prays for. I must say, keep it up. You are a deliberate young, young man. man. I've seen you bury yourself in this business and do exploit like this. You are a golden child. I completely agree. Job well done. I mean, come to think of it. Did you ever think you could perform like this? <laughs> I've always expected that question. 
The only way up is down. But you see, he graduated with honors. Then I gave him a junior position and he accepted it. And after that, it was history. As an aeronautic engineer, my dad gave me an impossible task to get rid of my past success with his instruction. Today, I did not regret it. Dad, thank you very much. You are welcome, sir. Stop by the house. I have a gift for you. So, what did I miss? An opportunity to redeem yourself again. Ladies and gentlemen, can we leave now? Because of this trade dog, you treat me like trash because of a child without any known lineage and you want me to compete with them. Now, not only that, you sent Cindy to the United Nations Business Summit. And you want me to be cool with that? Peter, it's only reasonable to tend to trees that produces fruit. All you need to do, Peter, is listen and learn. Talking about Cindy. Hello? Hi there. Hey, my baby. How are you? I'm fine. Yeah, I saw you speaking with Southland Kareem. I think we're going to be part nine with them in the morning. Gold? We should be wrapping up with the US public tomorrow. Yeah, I'll send my private jet to pick you up. Peter and Richard are saying hi. I regard you to them too. Thank you, my love. I'll talk to you later. Bye bye, love. Thank you. Bye bye. What happened to Cindy, Dad? As usual, Cindy is doing exploits. Peter, I want you to follow such example. Thank you everyone for this Zoom meeting. I wish every one of you have a lovely weekend. Babe, how was the meeting? Guess what? The deal went through? That was in the morning. You're this woman you are so outdated. Come on, get on the winning side. Now I'm on the winning side. Tell me what happened, my ears are tingling. Babe, I'm not an EMT specialist. Come on. Tell me what happened. That was the board of directors I was in the meeting with, with Bombardier and Gulfstream. Wow. They still came to the table? Yes. Well, Cotsy Richard, that boy is a brain. Hmm. He boxed them in the corner. And by the grace of God, we are diversifying into aviation. Whoa. Not only that, we're getting the first set of delivery five weeks from now. Wow, that's a miracle. Do you remember the whole military jet field I told you about? Yes, yes, yes. Guess what? I'm making an offer. Cash there. What? Yes. That's crazy. What do you need it for? For business purposes. Well, you know best. I'm going to continue what I'm doing in the kitchen. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Welcome to the Briggs School. As you all know, I'm going on a long vacation. And I want Richard to be the acting CEO and Cindy to take care of the pharmaceuticals. Like seriously, Dad? What is in this company for me? Dad, answer me. You put these two stray dogs in charge of this company while I serve them? My decision is final. Dad! You can't be serious, right? Please, Mr. P. Hey, hey, shut the hell up! What is... Excuse me! 
Please, this is family business. Mr. Peter, I think we should... Um... Do what? Do what? Look, my father always claims he has the best directors on board. Yeah, if you want to prove that you are that smart, then you should be smart enough to know your boundaries. Please, don't push it. Peter, I gave you a job, but you did not deliver. I gave you a chance. Or you failed. Make me proud, Peter. Oh my God. Who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? Oh my God. What is wrong? I mean, what's wrong? Talk oh to me. God. What's wrong? <laughs> Who did you talk to? What's wrong with you? Oh me, please. Talk to me. <laughs> Jesus. Ah. Mommy, talk to me, please. Who did you talk to? What's Just wrong? Your father is dead. <laughs> No, 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 Before we end the meeting, Peter, you said you have something to say. Yes. Um, as the only biological child of my father, I've come up with this brilliant idea, and it's to merge both Briggs Pharma and um, aviation. You know, make it a robust, strong, uh, company. In fact, my team is already... Hold it. Barely six months after the death of my husband, we closed deals. More deals than we've ever done in a year. We entered into Africa and Asia. Next week, Mid-Eastern and Russia gas deal will be finalized. Well, good to know. I hope you know that Briggs Pharma was awarded the COVID-19 contract for 32 countries in Africa. And it's because of your siblings who won the first contract in the United States. Good job. We will do better. When you burn down the company, over my dead body, will I allow you to take over this company? So what's going to happen now? Meaning? We need to start discussing how to share that property so that um, everybody can go to wherever they came from. Or shall I say where they picked them from? I'm just saying. For your information, I'm still alive. And everyone here has equal rights. Yeah. You are my children and I will step into your father's shoes. What nonsense! It is bad enough that dad is weak and emotional about you. You're going to burn everything How to dare you! Up, Mom. Call my husband weak. Mom! How do you explain a man that goes around the whole world looking for stray dogs to feed? Enough when he has of your nonsense! Dog? It takes one to know one. Oh, you want to push me down now? I don't care! You I can't push you down! You just said the way you're talking to your mother okay. and you all right! Did you lose okay. your case? No problem, no problem. Because Mom. we're all keeping quiet! <laughs> you! 
You will hear from my lawyer. Go to hell! Let me leave. What stupid because lawyer I'm going is to that? Add attempted murder to your case. You are already yes. a dead person already. I have the case because you already. Don't talk because like a normal person. Talk, look. Who's the stray dog? You keep saying the same thing over and over again. You will hear from my lawyer. You will hear Go from my hell. lawyer. Both of you. Sense. And that's your brother you call. Move! You will hear from my lawyer. Mom. Mom, it's okay. You will hear. Don't, don't let him stress you. Peter, you won't make me regret. It's just unfortunate that dad died in the yard outside. Peter has been more terrible after his death. He doesn't listen to anyone anymore. All he wants is to have his way. And that cannot happen. You need to see the way he lavishes and spends money. Oh. Let us continue to put follow up on God. There is nothing to do for him. Trust me, he will change. I totally believe so. Just continue to pray for him. That God touches his heart. I strongly believe God will never allow our prayers to be in vain. But most importantly, you have to be very, very careful. You need to be very careful of your brother. You know we all look up to you guys. What would you want to do that for, like? I mean, you don't understand. Just be careful. When you walk, watch your back. Okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh -huh. Have a nice day. Hey man, what's going on? Yes, um, I got the money. Yeah, completed. Yeah, sure. Um, you said to get off work late at night. No problem at all. I got the address. No problem. It's a done deal. Okay. There's nothing we can do about it. Just hold on. Let me call him. Please call him. Let's know what's happening. Where is he? Where is he now? Environment, this is a very dark environment that we need to leave this place on time. Cindy? Ah! What's happening? Go, go! Ah! Jesus, you help me! How? Who's gonna help me? Ah! Oh, go! Oh. Hello? My friend, things are going well, I thank God. You know, business is booming. It hasn't gone down, I just thank God. Yeah. 
You know, it's all the grace of God. It's by His grace. <laughs> yeah. Yes, because we were lucky enough the brought her to the hospital on time, so we're able to stop the bleeding. So she's gonna be okay. Let's just put all the hope on God, okay? Uh, I pray to God that she makes it. She will. It is well. You know, just losing my husband. Okay. I don't want to lose my daughter as well. Uh, Father, Lord, please help me. She will make it. Father, Lord, help me. Miss Jane? Miss Jane? Miss Jane? Are you okay? No. What's wrong? It's Cindy's death. It's so sad and painful. Who would have killed her? Who else? Her brother. Peter. Richard. Don't say that. We all know that Richard is a cool, calm and peaceful person. He won't do that. Listen, I have strong evidence that Richard killed him. Killed her. Evidence? Yes. <laughs> Hey yeah, man, what's going on? Oh well, um, I need more money. I did a very good job, then I need more money. Are you serious? You wanna bring this right in my face? Look at me, look at me. All this you're talking about, they're just cock and bull stories. All I want is I need more money. That's it. Did you just cut the phone on me? Are you serious? Did you just cut the phone on me? All right, I know what to do. Hello? Yeah, I'm fine. How are you? <laughs> Do you know the latest information I have now? You don't want to know. I can't believe that Mrs. Briggs has now succumbed to Peter's pressure to hand over the company to him. And you and I know what that means, right? that if Peter should lay hold of that company, you and I are gone. You better be, because I've been planning my exit. All right. See you on Monday. Bye. D. 
this can be. My man, <laughs> yeah, I'm finally here. Well, as you can see, and all you know, well, I am here because my mom asked me to come and get my stuff. So, what do you think? I wouldn't have been here. Who cares? <laughs> me? I don't care. Get over it. Look, let me tell you one to go and one is down. So, I mean, those stray dogs are no threat to me. I don't expect you to be afraid of anything. Okay. Look, you don't worry. We're going to party this night, okay? We are going to party. Just get the boys ready. My documents are ready. Okay. Okay, I will call you when the good news is here, okay? Please. And if I'm stay too long, <laughs> please call me. <laughs> I don't trust those guys, you know? <laughs> okay, man. <laughs> we'll catch you later, okay? Bye. Yeah. Yeah. My Peter, my son. So what are we doing here? Is that how you're going to beat me? Mom, what are we doing here? Peter, have a seat. No. Peter, have a seat. Mom, no. Peter, have a seat. Mom, what exactly are we doing here? I thought you said we are coming here to share my dad's estate. I can't sit. Peter, Mom? have a seat and let's have a family discussion. Mom, I've always told you there is no family and there will never be any family. Your husband, my father, is dead. And your so-called golden daughter is dead too. So give me my own share of my father's estate. Let me bounce. Is it too hard for me to ask? Okay. No problem. Give me a second. Now we are talking. Peter, Peter, my son. Dad. Mom. What's happening? I thought you guys are supposed to be dead. You thought or you wish? Can everyone have a seat?
I thank God today for preserving this family. I'm alive today because the covenant of life prevailed. I always thought about business, but God showed me something new. I will be right back. Does anyone know the shocking drama behind the Garden of Eden? Anyone? Okay. Genesis 3.19 says, Adam was formed from the dust, and to dust he will return. Dad, guys, can I take care of some business, please? You need to excuse me. Do you have another business aside the one I gave you? Uh, uh, not at all. I, I just I just quickly want to do some runs, but okay. Let me text them. I hope they understand. Peter, I understand. Dad, please, can I use the bathroom? You know, I fart a lot. Oh, that? Who does not fart? Can I see your father when we first got married? We can accommodate it. We need a little bit of fun after a year of tension with family. Do you know the story of redemption? It is deeper than what you all think. About 35 years ago, I and my wife had to visit a doctor during our search for a fruit of the womb. I hit the wrong button in the elevator and the elevator took me to the wrong floor. And I found a newborn baby in a pool of blood. Your mother, Richard, your mother cried like a baby. But how did the baby get there? I don't know. So what did you do? I adopted him, and there is a doctor. When I set my eye on that boy, I felt compassionate, and I had a voice. He said, this is your first one. What? How does that work? Peter. This is your origin and the story of your life. So, you were even adopted after all. And you kept calling us stray dogs. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mommy, please have mercy on me. Please, I'm sorry.
How could you possibly have done that? You plotted to kill your sister? Oh! <laughs> Very unspeakable, Peter. Peter, I want to give you a 